Moment of truth. Um. Right, well, we have some orders to pack. Well, we have some orders to pick first. Uh, but I just wanted to show, I have actually reorganised my storage just a tiny weeny little bit. It's not completely done yet, so don't think it is. But, um, yeah, so this is the background you normally see from where I record in here. And as you can see, all of these games have been, you know, placed on uh, the shelf a little bit better than they were previously. We now have some space here. We have some space up here. It's a little bit more crowded up here as well. And I have actually utilized a little bit of the space on top of my bookshelf here. Whether this will stay like this or not, I don't know. I'm not sure how stable this is completely, uh, if I'm being completely honest. So this will probably get moved onto the shelf behind me at some point. This is still really terrible. This needs to be cleared out because these are the remainder of my headphones. I have someone that bought a load of them previously uh, and he wanted to fix them up. I don't know whether he managed to do that or not. If he did, I'm going to message him and ask him if he wants the remainder because if not, I'm probably just going to get rid of them anyway because they're taking up room. Um, I've made my money back. I'm probably not going to make too much profit on that gaming bundle that I got way back during the first lockdown. So uh, that was a mistake that happened which happens when you panic and you spend money that you probably shouldn't spend but i digress <laughs> this room is now a little bit cleaner we still have our clothes down here in the bins which i do not want i still need to order those bags so i can bag up my clothes have them in one tub rather than two this is just messy i do not like this this needs to change as soon as possible uh we have one of our big men over there I forget what they're called, Power Rangers. One of them's actually sold. I don't know if it's that one or the one in there. We have a disc in here, and I do not know why. Why is this disc in here? I need to work out why that disc is in there. It shouldn't be in there. Um, if anyone's looking for a uh, big gumball machine, do let me know. Um, I've had this for absolutely ages, and it was just too big. So I never listed it on eBay. Um... I guess it's not really too big. I just never got around to doing it. I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, if anyone wants this £10 uh, plus postage, I'll ship it to you. I'm not really sure what size gumballs it takes, to be honest. But it's pretty cool if you have kids or whatever. Um, you could put like... I guess you could probably put Skittles in there as well or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was cool. If anyone wants it, let me know. Otherwise, I'll just throw it up on Facebook. Uh, but yeah, we got some orders to pack, to pick, to pack. Uh, they're the keyboards, by the way. They're currently just sitting there because that tub was supposed to go down there, but it doesn't fit. So I need to get a smaller tub um, and then they will go in there and get scooted down the corner. Uh, but yeah, let me set you guys up and uh, let's grab these orders, shall we? Gonna set you up at a different angle today so you're more looking this way rather than at me. Um, so I can show you the stuff a little bit better. I don't know whether that's gonna work. We have to try stuff, right? To see if it's any good. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, yeah, so it says we have 18 orders. It's currently Tuesday and my orders are trash. Um, they've been trash for the last few days. The weekend was um doable i guess maybe i don't know it's not been fantastic i don't know if anyone else is struggling right now with sales but it's okay it's all good in the last episode i said it would get better it did for a few days um and now not so much so yeah, first item we have sold is a plush, which was the only item that sold yesterday, and I accepted an offer on it, so that's fantastic, right? Um, so I just gotta find that one, if I can. I don't know which bin it's in. This is the problem when you have two bins of plush. There he is. There he is, Mr. Garfield. So this one has gone for 10 pounds, and I picked him up for 20 pence i believe at a car boot sale last year just after lockdown ended i think come from a big bag of 
uh, plush that somebody had. I think it was 20p or maybe 50p. Something like that. Anyway, he's gone for £10 and £3.50 postage. So, obviously not a fantastic day yesterday since this was all that was that sold. Um, but, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. But that wasn't fantastic. Anyway, moving on without many questions. Next up, we have a Nerf gun and a few attachments. So, I need to grab them real quick because they are down here. Right, so we have a handle... And a front end of a gun. I have no idea what this is called. So, yeah. And I don't think these even go with this series of guns. So, why I ended up listing these with this, I don't know. But they've gone, so I hope that's okay. Uh, £5.80 plus postage on them. So, nice... Uh, little cell running low on uh, nerf guns obviously summer's getting closer and closer now a couple more months or whatever and uh, that will be back round so yeah i will be looking for some nerf bundles when car boots and that open because they do do pretty well during uh summer so right next up we have a puzzle a windsor castle puzzle which I have to remember where I've put it. And this one has gone for seven pounds. Nice little puzzle, as you can see here, the Windsor Castle Jigsaw, thousand pieces. Okay, so this is another book that I've sold. This one has gone for 11 pounds plus, two pound 50 postage. It's thin enough to go as a large letter. Uh, so it will go as a large letter with Hermes. Uh, for £2.50 postage, and then uh, a little bit extra will just come out of the price of the item to cover the extra and the tax or whatever. Um, so yeah, about £10 uh, after fees and all of that lot, or oh, 9 or £10, something like that. Uh, yeah, nice and easy book to ship, always like them. Next up we have sold a Star Wars Millennium Falcon Imaginex set, which is right here. And it's actually all taped up, so I'm not sure how much of this you're going to be able to see. So you may have to rely on the photo. Uh, but we have a little uh, antenna here. Or cereal dish. Um, right there. A little bit oversized on this model, I would say. Uh, but there we go. Um, so yeah, this opens up from the top. And we have some characters with it. I believe we have Chewie, Ray, and R2-D2, if I'm correct. Yes. Uh, RTD2, Chewie, and Ray from Star Wars, so uh, that's pretty cool. Um, and this one has sold for £32. Now I paid, how much did I pay? I think I paid £40, and I got this, a big uh, Power Rangers set, and a load of figures, and some other Batman ones, and all that lot, so um, that is pretty much paid for. The entire bundle so you're not gonna be able to see this very well i'm gonna slide in and then hopefully you'll be able to see on the photos <laughs> we sold another one which is uh, not the one that came with this bundle i actually picked this one up separately for 10 pounds uh but this one has sold for 49.99 so about 40 pounds give or take um before fees and all of that on profit um which is pretty good so yeah 10 pounds i picked that one up for and uh, it has a couple of figures and a little bit of coins and whatever. Um, but yeah, forty nine ninety nine, And I still have another one which came with this set, which has a few more uh, figures and stuff with. And that one's up for 60 I believe, so an extra £10. Um, but yeah, forty nine ninety nine on that. I was quite happy to see that one sell. So, a funny little story to go with this sale. I don't want any of this breaking because that would be terrible. Uh, where is it? That blue one. Oh. Okay, so story time. Story, 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 story time. So I had these two figures up for £35, I believe. 
35 pounds plus postage and someone in um austria so next to germany i believe uh messaged me saying oh, i really want these blah 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 uh we sorted it out i took an offer of 29.99 on these two um which puts me in the profit for the pokemon bundle now which is great um and we sorted out the postage so 15 pound postage which covers sign track and whatever with royal mail to austria um and he was happy and he paid that um and then a day later i get a message from him saying oh i'm very sorry is it okay if i cancel this order because i have seen someone else selling this for the same price uh sorry for a little bit more and it includes another figure of um Ars arceus i think so i had a little google to see what the figure was and uh, it's one that i had um, and I had it up for $29.99. So I thought to myself, I have one. Let's see if I can manage to convince him to buy another one. Let's take a cancellation and turn it into an upsell. <laughs> so I sent him the link. I said, look, I have one. Um, if you are interested, then it might be more, um, you know, cheaper. It might be cheaper for you to buy my one and have it ship in under free shipping, basically, because it will go in the same parcel um, as as the other one. So he said, oh, what's the best price you can do? And I said, you know what? £20 and you can have it. So, you know, I cut myself a £10 loss on this. Not really a £10 loss because I got it so cheap. But I cut £10 off and I got a £20 sale to go along with it. And he didn't cancel, so yeah, I got an extra £20 for this figure, which is kind of crazy on its own when you think about it, um, for what it is. And uh, yeah, that will be shipping off to him with the other two, um, so for a complete price of £40, I believe, plus postage for three little Pokemon figures right there. Uh, next up, we have a bag of Lego, which I need to find. Right, so this bag of Lego has gone for £12.99 plus £4.50 posted, so what's that, £13, £17.50 uh, complete uh, order on this one with postage, and this is a one kilogram bag of uh, of Lego, hence the postage price. Um, so yeah, just complete mixed bag, no uh, picking and choosing or anything like that, uh, and this one did come with a little bit of a baseboard, which probably helped it sell a little bit quicker. Uh, but yeah, £12.99 plus postage. I'm very happy with that one. If you're after Lego, I have another 10 bags. Um, they are all weighed and you can see the weight on the scale in the photo and all of that. So, um, which is uh, always helpful to do to show the actual weight and stuff. So yeah, £12.99. Uh, I sold a set of uh, Disney bowls, but they are actually in the packing room already uh, for £12. And they are... A set of buzz and woody ones so i will put the picture up on screen for you 12 pounds we have sold a number four charmander uh two number four charmanders actually a blue one and a uh, hollow one i believe so i'm gonna have to find them real quick charmander where are you at right there's number four charmander there's actually two in here so i'll have to take one out because he only ordered one. So there we go. Number four Charmander, the blue one. Put the other one in this bag. Put him back in there. And then we have to find the hollow Charmander. Have the shiny hollow version of the marble as well. So number four again on the shiny Charmander. And then he actually paid for a Pikachu bag, which is nice. So he paid £10, I believe, for this bag, for the uh, Pokemon bag for the marble to go in. So those two marbles can go inside the bag. They are protected by the uh, plastic bags anyway, but there we go. So his total price was £22.49 on this little bundle. So thank you to Kane for purchasing that. Uh, he's actually um, another reseller and he is from my discord so thank you very much if you're watching today's video mate i do appreciate it 
Right, next up we have sold another Top of the Pops record just for £2. They are kind of moving, but they're not really worth much. But they are sales, so I'm happy uh, to see that go. We'll put the picture here because, like I said, it is over in the record bin. Uh, we have actually sold a pair of those health shoes or whatever they're called. So I need to grab them. I don't know which one it is. Yes, I believe these are the right ones. So these have sold. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, these are like physiological shoes so they have like a, a rounded base like so uh, and these have sold for 45 pounds this is actually the same pair that sold previously um for the same price so yeah hopefully this time they go and they stay uh because that was a really nice sell 45 plus postage on that two more pokemon figures actually um, I forgot these sold, so let me grab them. The Squirtle from uh, Burger King from 1999. Yeah, 1999 Burger King Squirtle. Uh, basically just sucks up water and squirts out of his mouth. Pretty cool, like a bath toy kind of thing. Uh, five pounds plus postage on that one. Not in the best of conditions, so happy that he went for five pounds. Um, and we have another figure to and I can't find it right and we have sold this figure as well he is in a plastic she is in a plastic bag so probably a little bit hard to see um yeah anyway this sold for 10 pounds 9.99 plus posted so another really nice sell and I have two more of these I believe or one more two more so all right so everything has now been moved over as usual um, as you can see, we have two rather large items that we have to pack up, uh, which are going to be quite difficult to do. And I'm going to have to try and work out a box to go with these two items. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set you guys up real quick. I'm going to try and pack the smaller items as quickly as I can, get them away from the, uh, the table here so I have space. And then we're going to try and pack this and this monstrosity. I have a box that this should fit in um, if I just take the handle off. If the handle comes off um, and goes next to it, um, then it should fit in that box. If not, it's probably not going to fit. Um, and I think what I'm going to do with this big one is I'm going to bubble wrap it and then I'm going to card wrap it. So put a bit of card around the legs, uh, card around the torso. A little bit of card around the head just so if it gets any knocks it's not going to crack anything or anything like that and then that will probably go in a poly mailer i don't really have a box that's going to fit this uh maybe i do i'm not sure i'll have to try and see what i can do with that so this is going to be interesting uh first time packing a dice and that is for sure so that will be interesting um and yeah this one's not so difficult as it's going to break as much as the dyson uh but yeah this one's actually about the same size as the Dyson, but it just doesn't weigh as much, so yes. And I think this DC24 weighs around the five kilo mark, so it can still go with Hermes as long as the box is within regulation size. So I think a meter uh, tall is the maximum on height. Um, and if it gets close to that, you want to make sure that you're within the full like box size or whatever. You have to like times height by width divided by or something. I don't really know how that equation works, but if I have to do that, I will do that just to make sure that it complies because I don't want that coming back. Uh, but yeah, they have paid £10 postage, so it should be okay. Anyway, without rambling anymore, I'm going to set you up. I'm going to take this down because it's in the way. I'm going to set you guys up here. And uh, yeah, we're going to pack this stuff real quick and then we'll get onto the Dyson uh, as soon as possible.
so I've just finished packing everything up other than the Dyson obviously we are all done now um so yeah this is what everyone's been waiting for I guess to see how I'm gonna pack this thing because I don't even really know how I'm gonna pack this yet I have a Dyson and I have a box that I think it may fit in but as you can see it's a little bit too tall so <laughs> I'm gonna try and take the handle off and see if it then fits in the box so yeah okay i'm gonna set you up back where you was a second ago and uh fingers crossed eh because if this box doesn't work i don't have another box that's gonna fit so right let me put this box here and uh fill it with wrapping paper is see if I can detach this handle. So I think if I release the strap, this here cable, this should come off. Oh, yes. Does that fit in the box? Oh, it does as well. Beautiful. Oh, Dyson, you have made my life easy. Put you round there like that. See if this fits in the box. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? <laughs> oh. It's perfect. It's perfect. Okay. So this should just fit down this oh my god what is this size look look it goes exactly to both ends this is insane this is insane right i'm gonna get some bubble wrap throw some bubbles in here i literally on my last bit of bubble wrap Right, now I need to do all my labels, so yeah. I will see you guys when we're taking these to the drop-off shop. Oh, I actually have some parcels to pick up from there as well, so that'll be interesting. All right, all right, all right. I just got back from the drop-off shop. I didn't actually film in there because it was very busy and I didn't want to, you know, get in people's way with a camera or whatever. Uh, but we dropped them all off, that's all done. And I have received two packages from Vinted. Um, I have ordered two lava lamps and a packet of pins. This is one of the lava lamps. The other one is still on its way or not been shipped yet. Um, and I've also ordered a Xbox One Connect, uh, which has not been shipped yet either. So this lava lamp cost me three pounds plus postage which was uh, two pounds i think uh, so five pounds on this one and these pins in here was a pound plus plus 99p postage um, on vintage so we're going to open them up see what we got i'm interested to see if the uh, lava lamp is still intact because it is obviously glass with liquid and uh, i'm hoping that it has made its way to me in one piece but 
we will find out. So let me cut this one open. So this was a bundle of pins that I found. These will be listed on my second eBay account. You can find it at slothshop.shop. Um, and we have a little note. Hi, thank you for your purchase. I hope you like your item. And there's actually some love hearts in there. So bargain, one pound and I get three sweets. Um, okay. So we have a pin here, uh, more van, more value. So this is an advertising pin for the Ford Transit van. As you can see, it's an old Transit. Um, there's a little dent. I wonder if I can pop that out. There we go. That's pretty cool. That's worth more than the pound on its own. Uh, there is quite a few charity ones in here. So I think this is like Hope or something like that. Um, what else do we have? I've taken the Pepsi challenge. So that was obviously back in what was the Pepsi challenge in the 90s or the uh, late 80s or something, I think. Uh, New Valley Railway. We have a uh, God Cares, a religious pin. Um, we have an England flag. That'll do well this year. What with the Euros and all of that. So that will sell. We have a little mouse. If anyone knows what mouse this is, like if this is an actual character, uh, do let me know. It says LC2005 on the back. So I'm sure someone knows what that is from. We have another transit van one. Which is nice, that means we have two of them. So, uh, two identical ones. Uh, people really like the old uh, advertising and stuff. We have another religious one, another God one there. Uh, sense touching people's lives. Kind of a weird phrase, but there we go. Another religious one, what does that say? Jesus Christ Superstar. I think, wasn't that a movie? Jesus Christ Superstar, I'm pretty sure. Uh, War Horse, that was a movie recently. Uh, and also a Broadway production, I think. Uh, this one's in like a little packet. It's a train, which is pretty cool. Trains are very popular right now. Um, yeah, we've got just a random green pin here. I'm not sure what that's from. Uh, we have another daffodil, is, is it not a daffodil, what is it, a, um, I can't remember, I don't know what flower that is. Uh, I manage for double agent, I don't know what that's in reference to, but that's a pin right there. We have a meerkat, save the meerkat uh, pin, so obviously another advertising pin. And a WizKids Make-A-Wish Foundation uh pin from Poundland. So obviously that was sold for a pound at some point. This is actually the uh, the only enamel pin uh, out of the lot, I think. Um, this is not quite an enamel pin. It's like got the uh, sticker on the front. It's like a rubber sticker. Oh no, maybe this one's enamel. Yeah, this one's enamel as well. Maybe, it might be a sticker. I'm not sure. But yeah, we paid one pound uh, for all of these pins. Or oh, 1.99 with the shipping. Uh, which is not too bad because they will probably all be listed for about two pound each, uh, two pound fifty, something like that. So yeah, that was a good experience right there from Etsy. Now let's see what the uh, what the uh, lava lamp holds. It's packaged quite well. They've used brown paper and tape, but it doesn't sound like anything's broken in there. But you never know. So let's find out. I wonder if we got any more sweets. So this one was not um, by the same person. So they've come from two different locations. Okay. So it is in its original box, which is nice. The reason why I wanted this one, because it has like the similar base to one of the designs I have, but the, the lid of the other one, uh, obviously they're not identical to the ones I have, but it's kind of like a mix of both together and I thought it was pretty cool. Um, yeah, and I believe it's like a pink color. Um, so we have the, uh, the cap right there. We have the base. That's a very big base. So this might be a larger 
um, lava lamp than I was expecting actually. And I presume that the actual lava itself is in here. Oh boy, it's purple. Okay, I thought it was pink, but no, it's purple. Which is fine by me, because that's my favorite color. Unless it's blue, it might be blue. No, that's definitely purple, okay. So it's intact. Ladies and gentlemen, it's intact. I don't think that's the right light bulb. Uh, wait, there's grooves on, oh, it screws in. Wow, I've never had one that screws in before, hang on. That is a nice lava lamp. Let's plug her in. See if it turns on. I'm happy with that. Right, moment of truth. Um, okay. Is it on? Hmm. Well, that's no good. This blooming light bulb don't work. Are you kidding me? So after hours of searching on the internet for the exact light bulb that I needed for my lava lamp, I managed to find it, but they only sold it in packs of six. And that cost me about eight pounds. But anyway, a couple of days later, they have now arrived. I have fitted one to the lava lamp. Unfortunately, it takes like two hours for that lava lamp to fully get going. So I will try and get a clip of it. It's running right now. And uh, I'll try and add it into the video if I can. Uh, but yeah, for some reason, this specific this specific uh, lava lamp used a different light bulb to every other lava lamp I've ever had. So I've had to buy replacement bulbs instead of a screw one. It was this special one that pushed and twist, uh, twisted in. Uh, I don't know. It was a, I don't know. Anyway.